Welcome to Humber's 2015 Showcase, where this year we'll be exploring all things design. Everyone's just grabbing a bite to eat and some coffee before they go in to listen to the keynote speaker, and I think I might do the same. Showcase to me is all about learning new techniques, learning new strategies, and really getting a chance to sink your teeth in, network with people. I just think that it's a fabulous opportunity that Humber's offering everybody. We realize very quickly we're both teachers and we're students every day. So when we come to something like this, we've got something to share, but we've got lots to learn as well too. And lots of incredible people here from very, very diverse backgrounds. I'm here with Dee Fink, who's this year's keynote speaker. Dee, how are you feeling today at Humber? I'm really enjoying the day, I really am. I, I had a chance to uh, share some comments with a, a large faculty gathering and their enthusiasm and their interest and their openness to new ideas was invigorating to me and it's joy to, to work with a group of people like that. If we're going to make our colleges and universities around the world capable of generating the kind of learning that students need in the 21st century, uh, we've got to make some changes and it's not going to happen unless faculty come together and learn some new ideas. the marketplace where the Humber community comes together to show off what they do best. As you can see behind me, it's a mix of staff and faculty. Let's see what's going on. So I'm here with Nicole at the marketplace. Nicole, what exactly are you doing today? Actually, I'm here teaching and trying to influence people to actually learn how to do CPR to save somebody's life. Hand underneath the underarm, heel of the hand in the center of the chest. Your hands are folded over and now you're going to push straight down into the chest wall. We're now in the workshop portion of the day where faculty have an opportunity to all learn from each other. So let's go check a few out. We're teaching teachers uh, how to improvise so that they can do it for their students, or do it with their students, or somehow apply some of the skills of improv to their classroom and their techniques of teaching. If there was like a key learning point from your workshop in particular, what do you want somebody who's going to join it to take away from the class? The importance of listening, focusing, and making eye contact. The three keys of improv? Absolutely. And agreement, saying yes and instead of no but glad that you guys said yes to doing this interview with me. I appreciate your time and I'm, I had a really good time watching the class as well. This portion of the evening is the app prey where everybody gets to get together, discuss the day, enjoy a little bit of wine, cheese, and jazz. How was your experience today? I love Showcase. By the way, this is the 23rd year that I've come to Showcase. Every year it's fabulous. I learn stuff. It's a very collegial atmosphere. The socializing that goes on, because we don't socialize a lot, is really, really important. You have conversations here that you wouldn't have otherwise. The Humber does a great job here, so I think Showcase is one thing to differentiate us from other colleges. I really just like the day. There's something about all of us coming together on a usually but not always beautiful day in June and celebrating what people here are doing. Did you catch any workshops today? Absolutely. I went to improv which was great. I also went to psychology in the classroom and I did some meditation. And it, was, it was a blast and I picked up a lot of tricks that I can use in the classroom in terms of icebreakers and preparing them for impromptu speaking. So I took things away from it as well as having fun. I did a drawing workshop today uh, as well as uh, the improv workshop. Those were things I would never do normally uh, and it really does sort of inspire creativity and uh, give you ideas for classroom application and just having fun. So I'm here with the 2015 chair, Sheila Walsh. Sheila, how was your experience today? You know what, Siobhan, it was so great. Uh, there was such a great team um, this year for Showcase. Put a lot of hard work, six months of volunteer hours, 
and um, I think it's safe to say it went off really successfully. Everybody is happy, the presenters are happy, the people who attended the workshops are happy. So that makes us happy. So I think it was pretty successful. Well, it's safe to say that we really do appreciate all your hard work because today was very awesome. Aww. Thanks. So. And thank you for your hard work and for, uh, sorry, what was his name behind the camera? Thomas. Thomas thank you, Thomas. Thank You're you, amazing. Thomas. I know the camera can't see him, but he's <laughs> awesome too. So thank you guys. Appreciate awesome. It. Well, thank you for talking to us, okay. Sheila.